Hello, hello. Welcome back to Choice Bits of Bliss. My name is Scylla and I'm on a quest to use up the supplies that I already own. I've mentioned many times that I am still receiving subscription kits and I don't foresee stopping that. But I do want my burn rate to be greater than what's coming in. I was chatting with Teresa and Debbie Teresa mentioned that she finds my burn rate interesting, but she would also like to see a comparison between what I'm using and what's coming in. So I told her that I would start this month giving both numbers. In full disclosure, I have a couple of pre-orders still hanging out there. I don't know when they're going to get here. So at this time, I'm not going to include those in my count as part of the receiving. I'm only going to count what I know for a fact will arrive this month. Another part of my goals that I set at the beginning of this year in the low or no, low or no, why can I not remember this or say it correctly? In the crafty low or no spend Facebook group. I named that group and I can't ever remember it. <laughs> oh my word. It's like when you're calling your kids and you call them every name in the book beside their name. Yeah, that's where I am. Okay, let's straighten up. Anyway, one of the goals I had set in January was... If it came in to my inventory, I would do something with it because I had a really bad habit of bringing kits in, looking at them, loving everything in them, storing them in the correct category, location, whatever, that they went in my space. And then it's, it's like it was an abyss. It would just get swallowed up into my supplies and I would forget about it. So I began in January. Once things came into my home, I would do something, a layout, uh, a traveler's notebook spread, something with those supplies so that I felt like I was getting use. It is not my goal to eliminate a kit or to kill a kit or bash the stash or anything like that. That is not my goal because, and you may be smarter than I am, I have a condition. I don't know what the name of it is. I like to mentally know that I have certain supplies. I don't know why this is the thing, but it is the thing. When I see other people using Pink Fresh, I like to mentally say, oh, I have some Pink Fresh. It makes me happy to do that. Or if they use Mente, P13, or Cartabella, or Echo Park, or I just like to say in my head, oh, I have that. This is ridiculous. I know that it's ridiculous, but I'm just owning it. I'm putting it out there. I am having, in part of being more accountable, I'm learning to not be embarrassed anymore or ashamed or feel regret because those emotions and feelings are energy sucking they are soul sucking. They do not provide impetus to improve or to, they're not motivating at all. So if I believe in grace and if I say I truly believe in grace and I'm more than willing to extend grace to others, I have to also extend grace to myself. And in doing that, 
I am allowing myself to grow. I started this YouTube channel even though I had told my friends I would not do a YouTube channel <laughs> because it just was not on my radar. It wasn't something that I wanted to do. I had zero aspirations. But there's something powerful about speaking your goals out loud or writing them down. And knowing that I am speaking this out into, into the world virtually, it helps me stay focused and accountable. Because if I try to keep my word just to myself, I allow myself to slide and the things that I really want to accomplish don't get accomplished. This channel, being able to share with you all is actually helping me stay on task and more focused, motivated. I don't think ever in my life, I mean, this is October. We started the Crafty Low or No Spend group in January. I don't know that I've ever stuck with something this long. I am so moved by how just being accountable to others is making a difference. That was a pretty big tangent. So let's get back to the topic at hand. For the month of October, I have agreed to share my burn rate and my incoming rate. So this month, I know I will receive flavors of the month from the Scrap Room subscription. I will also receive the Not Just For Boys Kit Club premium kit called Bliss. And I also ordered the October Hip Kit basic kit. So, if I did my math correctly, incoming is going to be a total of 66 pieces of cardstock and pattern paper combined. No, I said that wrong. Incoming is going to be a total of 40. Yes, 40 coming in. My burn rate so far, and I'm going to show you this, the stack, is going to be 66. That's where I got the 66 from. So that number is actually already more because I dug into some craft cardstock to do matting with. And that, so I'm, I think I've used three pieces already. So we're up to 69 pieces of cardstock and pattern paper. And there's a little bitty bug. We squished that. Why aren't... Oh no. That blood... Okay, the photo is going to go over the bug guts. This is real life right here. <laughs> so, this is what I showed in the previous video when I talked about flipping, twisting, turning a sketch so that you get four different layouts from the same sketch. And I'm going to put these side by side so that you can see that it's gotten turned and then flipped and then twisted. I believe this one is upside down, yes. That's how it's supposed to go. And then, now that's in order. Okay, so uh, everything has been adhered. When I did the video last time, nothing had been uh, adhered. It's all adhered now. And I've put them all together. So we're going to remove those. These are waiting for photos. And I'm loosely following the prompts from the, uh, from load layout a day sponsored by the scrap happy group 
group. Laying those aside, and remember, for those layouts, I have a bag of embellishments and scraps. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I have three collections. Two of them are 100% everything there. I bought these at Tuesday morning, twice. Yes, I did. I bought them in Alabama. And then for vacation or something came up to New York. And while I was here, I bought them again because I need stuff to scrapbook with while I'm up here. So my goal for these is to use them almost completely up. This fall break is originally, I believe, a Cartabella collection but for Tuesday morning, it's printed on Echo Park paper. And you don't get as many of the papers. So this has not been touched at all. And what I did was go through the collection and pick out what my cut aparts. I always look on the back to see if it's something that I'm going to use. Those are going to become embellishments. I have this paper and this paper. This is the A and B size. I don't believe I'm going to be using these papers in their totality. Then I came back and put together the papers that I thought I would use together. So I added some cream puff basil because this is a cream based kit and I will use those together. And then the next one, I will use those together. And then once again, we'll use those together. So as you can see, I'm going to be able to get four layouts from that collection. The thing about having a, the Tuesday morning collections, you, you don't ever know what you're going to get. You don't know if they're going to have embellishment packs to go with them. So when I buy a collection pack such as this, I know if I don't have embellishments to go with it, I'm likely going to have to fussy cut. And I will demonstrate that in a moment. This kit I used a year ago or two years ago. Some of it, so I have some scraps left over. I have my cut aparts and I've got the papers that I think I will use together. I did use some of my stickers. So I'll get that layout. And this layout. So I believe I'm going to get be able to get three layouts out of that collection. And we're down to the final collection, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about, how I will use them up, because I've already started with this one. I will have my cut aparts. I have this entire sheet left over. Because I've already gone through and done my layouts, this sheet is going to go in my red category. I have these scraps left over. I have scraps on my stickers too. So I have these scraps that are left over. I have this left over for my stickers. And this starts the layouts. So when I begin doing a layout, this is uh, matted and then I've got the green matted with the craft, I gutted this paper. See? And that, I fussy cut out the uh, bear and the fox, the leaves, the pumpkin. All of that was fussy cut out.
And on this one, once again, I gutted it because I wanted these flower, that floral part. And it became part of my base. I used three cut aparts here. This is actually a sticker that was a photo frame. And I just used it on a cut apart. This layout, <clears throat> I did not gut, but I used some scraps and still was able to get quite a bit used up. And this is the layout that I did so much fussy cutting. All of these flowers and stems and leaves and oh, it's the, all of that was fussy cut out. And all of this is made with stickers. This is a border sticker. And that is what I've done so far for the month of October. Now, while I'm putting this back, I'm going to talk about the challenges that I will be joining this month. The Mini Kit Monday and the Counterfeit Kit Club I'm sorry, Counterfeit Kit Challenge. There is some crossover in their inspiration. So I believe I'm going to make my kit and use it for both challenges. And I will, once I get that kit shared, I will do a video to share that. I have guests coming this month. So my time is going to be very limited. I will not be scrapping at all next week or the next. So this weekend and then the last weekend of uh, the month is probably all I will get to get in. I'm currently working six days a week, and that's just that's just the nature of my business. I, it's just what I have to do right now. So things will be a little better next month. And... I will come back. I'm going to share my kit for the two challenge groups. And we'll talk more about burn rate. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for being a part of my journey and keeping me accountable. I appreciate you. Whether you know it or not, you help me. And I truly, truly appreciate all the contributions that you give. I hope you have a great weekend. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.